Hello my soul family, welcome to pick a card reading. I've been guided to do a new moon reading and this is a collective reading so please pick up whatever resonates. Uh, there are two piles, uh, so there, this is group one and this pile is group two. The group one is with the rose quartz, group two is with the amethyst. So go ahead, close your eyes and pick up a pile. Okay, group one, what did I pick this up from? Uh, let's look at your reading, group one. So you need to unleash your spirits, you need to express your gifts, and you need to dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Uh, you have ancestral uh, spirits around you. You need to connect to your lineage. Uh, you need to... Uh, do ancestral healing which will uh, you know uh, heal a lot of family wounds patterns and that can be done right now oh what a card to come uh, archangel michael and ancestral healing so call upon archangel michael to do your ancestral healing uh, you are so what Archangel Michael is saying is you're safe and angels are close. You're surrounded by angels and you need to surrender your concern and allow a miracle to happen. When you do your ancestral healing, please do your cord cutting as well because whenever Archangel Michael comes up, it is uh, an indication of, you know, a cord, cord cutting that needs to be done. Oh, here it is. Next card, cut the cord. So you need to cut cords. You, you, you not only need to cut cords with people who don't serve any purpose, any, any more purpose in your life, you also need to cut cords with situations which don't, do not serve any purpose in your life currently. You need to trust the universe and be compassionate not only to uh, people around you, but you need to be compassionate to yourself also. At times we forget to be compassionate to ourselves. And you need to, uh, you know, dissolve everything with grace, expand your consciousness and awareness, expand your psychic gifts and open uh, the gates to angelic realm. Let the angels come to you. Look for signs. So when, when you open up to the angels, to the, to, to the angelic world, you have to look for signs, you know. The angels always talk to you in signs and symbols. In case, you know, before you picked up a pile, you thought about a question. This is your answer to that question. It's a big yes. And it's going to happen in the near future. Wow. Okay, you need to uh, look at a new direction in life. Life may seem like a world at the moment, yet there is a divine order to the present circumstance circumstances. What may appear as chaos is often angelic forces of the universe at work. You know, this again speaks about, you know, you calling upon your angels. So please open yourself, call your angels, uh, look at new direction. It is a time for renewed health, joy and abundance. A time for renewed health, joy and abundance will also happen once you do your ancestral healing cut the cords the minute you do that you have everything new coming into your life you have to convince yourself not others okay what's important is knowing the truth about why you feel the need oh wow obstacles are detours in the right direction so once you do your cord cutting your clearing your healing your path is going to be clear and here's a message from Archangel Shamuel. Okay, let love flow from your heart and touch your loved ones and those you dislike and strangers. Uh, this again talk about love and compassion. So uh, that's it for now group one. I hope this reading helps you and it did resonate uh, to you. Okay, group two, let's do your reading. Oh, Lady Venus. So right now, there are a lot of messages that you must be getting. So, you know, truth is being revealed deep inside, are coming from heaven. 
So you must be getting a lot of messages. So please uh, die, uh, look into those messages that you're getting and uh, move back to yourself. Look within yourself. Look for the inner strength within yourself. You have the power to do everything. You have uh, Jesus who is with you. Uh, okay, so you need to do a lot of forgiveness in your life. Forgiveness for yourself and forgiveness for people around you. And you are uh, on the path of light, love and forgiveness in case. So it says Father healing is possible at this time, which also means that uh, in case you have any situation with your father, any unhealed uh, relationship with your father, the, you can go ahead and do the healing right now. Uh, self-acceptance, once you do the forgiveness, you can uh, do a self-acceptance, uh, which is very important. You need to love yourself first. You have to accept yourself first. Then that's how you can give your love to others. You have opportunities and changes that are going to come in your life. Uh, you need to ground yourself. Look from the highest perspective. See the divine in everyone. Uh, yes. Again, you have new opportunities card. Declutter your life. So when you say declutter, it's, 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 it's about declutter your life. Declutter your social media, declutter your home, declutter your wardrobe, de declutter the people in your life, declutter the situation. Okay, and once you de declutter, you are going to open a magical doorway to everything. You are a spiritual warrior. You need to show that you are a wise leader and... Uh, you know, command the universe, what is it that you require? And you have a ne beautiful card next, which is manifest your dreams. See how it goes with each other. It's like a story, you know, like you are a wise leader. You, you, you need to, you know, declutter your life, you know, for the new things to come. You need to ask the universe and here is your manifestation. So focus on your vision, seek satisfaction and com uh, contentment. Meditation, meditate, go within and you know, you know what, what you need to do. Uh, you have helpful people around you. You also need to be helpful and you know, ask for help and you will have peaceful resolutions. This is again to your father healing card in case you have uh, a situation with your father. So you are going to have a peaceful resolution. And your next card is intention. Uh, oh. To not lose sight of your original intention, check inside your heart to see if the path you're traveling fits with the original hope and aspiration. If not, take action, take control, and get your back, uh, life back on track. Do something new and different. Well, do something new and different, ask the universe. Uh, this is a message from the universe for you. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive the sphere through the eyes of the teacher of love. Uh, the t eyes of the teacher of love is again about self-acceptance, uh, your you know, self-love, self-care. And this is your last message. Synchrosity. Look for messages from the universe. There are no coincidences in life. Remember that. And everything happens uh, at the right time, and everything has a divine timing. That's all, Group Two. I hope this reading was helpful, and have a nice week. I shall come back soon with a new reading. Bye bye.